M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with M6LSJ and we're tinkering around with the TID Radio TDH3. We've got the TID station, I'll show you what that is in a sec, and we've also downloaded the latest firmware and looking at Marcus's comments here. A few bits here that Marcus says, menu item 37 PTT ID has been replaced by a modulation selection off AM, USB and FM. And then it says here to set the modulation on memory channel and gives instructions for that. So it's a it, there's a patched bin here. I might even show you how to load that bin, but you are going to need a, a cable to do that, a Bowfront cable. But to read the software, sorry, to use the TID station software, you just use your USB cable. So here's the zip here, TID station 33B, and you've, there is a GitHub page as well. I'll put that link in for Nick Shaw, and it's Marcus that's making this. Thank you very much, Marcus. So we'll click the zip, we'll download it. Of course, it's up to you to use your virus checker to make sure you've got no you know, problems, and I'll extract that. Uh, to a folder on my file on my computer so I can easily use it but see here it says TID station double click that and it will start so we just go extract I've created a file called TID on my desktop PQRST there it is there click OK and that's in there now and then all I do is just double click the file here TID and then double click TID station here and then, of course, you've got the warnings, and then I'm going to run it. It's up, like I said, it's up to you to make sure your system is safe. So this is what it looks like, and we may as well show you how to load the firmware first. That's quite straightforward. You plug in your USB, sorry, your Bofun cable. So we've got the Bofun cable. You can see where my finger is. We're going to right-click the Windows squares at the bottom of the screen. Right-click. Go device manager and see what port number it is. Now the port number for firmware will be a different because it's a different cable. So it's 15, okay, you can see it there, 15. So you don't connect yet. See here where it says live port and offline. Don't touch that yet, um, just here. Go to the, the lightning bolt here, go browse. I've already downloaded the, the bin file. I'll show you how to do that. Go to here where it says patched H3 bin, just click that and it will just put the file in your downloads and it's called 530 bin. And then go back to the software, go browse and then download that file which you've got here and it puts it here. And then the instructions are nice and easy. It says click start, hold the PTT while turning on the radio. But first of all, we'll select that Com port, com port 15. If it's not there, just restart the software. See, at the moment, might it's not there. Yep, so after a reboot, we go like so. Click here where it says serial port. We've now got 15. Browse, double click the, the bin file, and then turn off the radio like so and then click you can click start now and then go back to the radio hold the ptt and turn it on and it will go green here and load that latest bin file go start and then we've got a ptt and turn on and I, I do normally keep my finger on it see the way it timed out just do that again so we just go turn it off click start ptt turn on Try again, so we've got the bin file, COM15, we click start, the turn the radio off, PTT in, turn it on, and it should load. I don't really, maybe it's because I've already loaded it on there, but that is the process. Never gonna give up on this. Radio off, click start. I've tried a different Bofun cable now, press PTT, turn on. Wee we have success. Right, that's good news. So wait until it gets to the end and then we'll fire up the software and, and just see what we've got on there. So I just used a different cable. So there you are, sometimes that happens. Okay, and also talking to my friend Lionel, M6LHJ, his model, 
the USB-C does allow firmware because when the radio is turned off, it still has, a, as far as I can see, an FTDI chip in the radio and the USB-C cable allows for firmware. And I've tested and tested that on his one. So maybe the newer models have got that. But anyway, so now we're on the radio and if you wanna read and write before you connect here, see it says live port here and you are offline. Before you read, if you want to read and write your software, leave that off and then look, you can go to TRD Radio and you've got these up and down arrows. So you can go to select it when you clip up or down. Sorry about that, up or down. Down by the looks of it. Select your 15, which is my common look, and it reads the radio straight away. Ta da! And then we can look at our memories now. You click here on the next one in, it's like a little book, and there's all your, your memories. And you can, of course, you can change them, add your frequency, receive, transmit, ETC, power, tone, everything there. Go back to the first one, and you've got your right click here for your CTCSS, power, wide and narrow, step, looking down at the Squelch, backlight, Roger beep, voice prompt, auto lock, scan mode, mic gains there. What's breathe LED? I wonder what that is. You click each of these and then you can change them, you see? Live port, scan mode as well, carrier. See that? You can change them as you click on timeout. Leave it on that for now. Mike Gay, let's go to the bottom. There's so much, look, VHF, UHF, 200, 300, which have all been disabled at the moment. PTT, DTMF, side tone. I'm gonna enable it, why not? Uh, self ID, Halo remote kill. So there you are, have a little play, thanks to Marcus, and uh, looking forward to this, and yeah, remember there is a a version that actually has got make it a bit bigger actually to make to change the size look see here on the corner just just where just there just kick it down and across and look how big it goes and it will go full screen as well so it's called the TRD station this is version 0.33b bye for now